Hey everyone, Studio Cheese here. Today I have some really big news. After almost a year of nothing, I finally have a massive Port Orange update. Recently, some fans have found and sent me blueprints and permits from Parkway Construction and Architecture, which is the construction company officially contracted by CEC Entertainment. These plans, of course, are regarding the Port Orange location. In particular, I want to thank CEC San Diego for initially bringing these plans to my attention, and I also want to thank Gala for getting me the original PDF files for every single plan so that we can view these in the highest quality. I'll leave a link to the files in the description down below if you'd like to check them out in greater detail for yourself. Anyway, there's a ton of details about the rebuild in these documents, but a lot of it is just general safety and construction stuff. Since I doubt anybody watching this wants me to talk about the new plumbing systems for 20 minutes, I'll just be covering the interesting stuff. So starting off, the location will be at the exact same location and address as before, located at the Port Orange Pavilion. The store itself will just be over 13,000 square feet in diameter and is also believed to be roughly 33 feet tall. The building will have an occupancy of 824 people with seating for only 212. As you can tell by the images, this location will be a 2.0 store. This means the 32 movement circle of light stage will not be returning, sadly. Okay, now let's take a look around the inside of the location itself. The entrance will be in the bottom left corner of the building, exactly as it was in the old location. Now this is how you would be seeing the store if you were entering it, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to rotate it like this so that you can read most of the text. Anyway, after going through a small hallway here, you're immediately presented with Kid Check and the Order Encounter. Moving to the right, you're presented with the first set of games. These include games like Skee Ball, Basketball, and the Big Bass Wheel, just to name a few. A set of tables and booths will divide the main game room area from the main seating area. Now on the right wall is one of the biggest additions to this new location, this being the trampoline zone. The trampoline zone will have eight separate trampolines, making it one of the largest in the chain. Moving upward, we have some games for smaller children. This includes the Chucky photo car ride, as well as the Minions ride and the Stuart Little car ride, plus some others. This general area is also where the Ticket Blaster is going to be located. Now we finally come face to face with the showroom. This is where the video wall, dance floor, and most of the seating is. Of course, these benches are mostly used for reserved birthday parties. But behind the video wall is three employee-only areas. Those being the Chucky Room, which also seems to hold some birthday supplies, including a helium tank. The mechanical room, which has electrical panels, and the tech room, which likely contains spare parts for the games, and we know does include a tech room toolbox and, oddly, an air compressor? I suppose the compressor could be used for some of the games or cleaning, but I'm not sure. If any of you guys work at a CEC or have a guess at what the compressor could be used for, please let me know. Anyway, moving back to the left, we come to a hallway. On the right side of the hallway is where the restrooms are located. On the left side of the same hall, we have the entrance to the kitchen area. Back to the main area, just a little further along, is the prize counter as well. Now we're back at where we started. So that pretty much completes the tour of this location's layout. Now for the most exciting part of the video, we have confirmation that the construction will start on October 2nd of this year. It's expected to last until March 4th, 2024. This means the location should be open sometime in March next year or early April next year. I'll be sure to give you all plenty of updates leading up to the grand opening. Make sure to follow my Instagram at studio underscore cheese underscore CEC for even more updates on the location. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.